It's a fair sort of a day, Adam, and a great flight. Thank you very much. Good on you. Well, Kempsey is the gateway, folks, to some magnificent fishing on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. And about half an hour drive that away is Southwest Rocks, a beautiful little fishing town at the mouth of the Maclay River. And Laurie and Julie McAnally said, Rexy, whenever you're ready. Well, folks, uh, yibbity yibbity, I'm ready. Got some mates there. <laughs> and <laughs> oh boys! I tell you what, they know where the feed's coming from, don't they? Eh? Sure do. Now I told you this place was something special, right out of a picture book. Well, Laurie's promised us some huge dolphin fish today, so with any luck, we'll dong one. Laurie is Laurie McAnally and his wife Julie, who live here on the Southwest Rocks Township, right on the mid north coast of New South Wales just on the coast from Kempsey, folks. And this joint, I tell you what, this is my second visit, and I'm coming back here without the cameras because I don't like the crew. No, no, <laughs> quite seriously, this is a fantastic place. And today we're going for the dolphin fish, and bushy. It's not the human broom, it's the human kaleidoscope. Can you explain? I didn't say fancy dress on the invitation. Now, I've done my research on these dolphin fish, and they're a very bright coloured fish, and this actually mimics the mating display of the female. So they're going to come straight up to the boat, and we'll catch them. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Yeah, like plugger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. Laurie, put that smelly fish away, and let's get out of here. I think we'll do some fishing, because that's enough of this stuff, Bushy. Thank you very much. There's some fish there behind that boy right. now. The boy's there. There's some fish behind that boy, mate. Yep. See him through the glasses. Oh, I can see him, yeah. And yep. look at him. Oh, I just got hit. Did you? Yep. Yep, I'm on. Good man. Oh. Well done. Still there? Or well done. Yeah, he's there, all right. Yep. He's there, all right. Rod now. What we're going to do, folks, is that Bushy's hooked up with the dolphin fish. A lot of you would call them mahi mahi, but they're a magnificent pelagic species that work along the perimeters of, say, 30 fathoms out of the shelf. And anywhere that there's structures, even some of these buys or oh. fish traps or that sort of thing, and I'll get my fly in there like that while you just keep them hungry oh, there, Bushy. Off, but they followed the blue. Did they? All right, I don't know. Oops. oops, just oops, oops anywhere oops. there will do, Bushy. You're doing particularly well. We got him. Uh, let's just see if there's anything here in this. Oh, Yo. gee, did you see that, Bushy? <laughs> as quick as you could say, <laughs> did you see that? I put a little pink thing out there, which I'll show you in the fish's mouth in a minute. And a beautiful little dolphin fish has grabbed that. And that Laurie McAnally suggestion, I stripped it really hard. And I gave it to him through a pack. You'll see when Noel gets down there now, and we've got colour, that there'll be a lot of fish down there. Yoo-hoo! There will be a lot of fish come up and come around. Oh, yeah, look at them there. Gee, there's a lot of fish there. But the colours of these things are absolutely fantastic. They are beautiful, beautiful colours. What I'm going to do is just trace that fish in there like that and he will go absolutely bereft because these things do. That is a male dolphin fish. That is one of the prettiest fish in the sea. That is one of the great pelagic species that inhabit a lot of the warmer climates of the world, as a matter of fact. And I'll grab you just like that. And there's a little pink and white fly I was talking about. It's a little pink thing tied for me. Uh, by Chris Beach in Tasmania. So there are Chris, your flies are fantastic. And what I'll do is I'll just pop this bloke back because this is a magnificent eating fish, but this is the male of the species. And now you can see why Bushy's dressed like a clown because they can't see him and all they can see is the beard. They can't see the bush. I tell you what, this is absolutely magnificent. This is great fishing. Oh, look at the colours How on you this going one, there, Bushy? Take it away, son. <laughs> While Rexy's been catching his on the fly, 
I just threw a pilchard in there because they really do love pilchards on this little bait, oh, it's not a bait cartridge, it's a little spin reel and about eight pound line and this one's giving me an absolute workout as well. Gee, they're fun fish. And look at the colours on this thing. Look at that, if I can just get him up here to give you a look. Oh, come on, he's got the beautiful green back. Ah, oh, they're lovely fish. Ah, oh, come on, don't go mad. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, I'll let you go, come on. Look at the colours on that one. Beautiful green and the spots. Look at that. If there's a better looking fish in the sea than those, I'm going to want to see it. Look at that beautiful blue dots. Ever changing, every minute he's changing. So I'll get that hook out of him if I can. And I'll just heave him back in. There's a big pack of fish in there. Come on. Oh, <laughs> she whiz. I tell you what. This is a great learning learning <laughs> learning learning curve for a lot of new folk into fly fishing although this is a number 11 outfit the number eight or nine absolutely perfect you don't need to worry too much about the igfa sort of way of the leader unless you're chasing world records come on boy He's a nice fish, this one. He's a nicey. Oh, look at the size of him. Oh, and look at the lovely colours. Look at the lovely colours there. Oh, just absolutely fantastic. I'll just trace him. And look at that. Oh, that's just beautiful. He might actually just drop off there before I do that, but I'll give you a bit of a look at him. He'll go absolute ape droppings just like that. He's a beautiful, beautiful male dolphin fish. And there he goes like that. So he's free. Dolphin fish. Sorry about the water on the lens. I've got to get a real job. I love fishing. Don't think you noticed, did you? Give me that fly. OK, now, I'm still caught up around this buoy. My fish has made it back and wrapped itself around the rope. But we don't always give up hope. All you can do is, Laurie's heading the boat back towards the buoy, and I'm just maintaining even pressure on this rod, and we're going to go back and see if we can untangle this fish. We may not, but it's worth a shot. If he gets away, well, that's fishing. Now, you can see the water rushing past that buoy. The buoy's not actually moving, it's just that the current's running at about three and a half knots. That's why it looks as though something's towing those buoys through the water. Oh, Rex is on with the fly. Now, don't ride in here, fly fisherman. I actually had the fly just dangling over the back, watching Julie grab this particular fish off the fish trap rope, and Bob's your uncle. I'm going to be a couple of minutes. Welcome back, by the way. Bushy, take your cue, son. I'll look after this dude. OK, you handle that one. Let's we'll see if we can get over a bit closer. I can see that fish is just tangled around the end boy. I think he may have got off, folks. I think I'm just stuck on this boy. And Rexy's got a good fish anyway. I might uh, do the honourable thing and break this one off so we can get Rexy's. That's it. See you later, fish. How are you going, Rexy? Can we just get that on tape again, please, Mr. Producer? Well, she is actually going to do the honourable thing. <laughs> Folks, can I just <laughs> let you know, when we go away, he's the first into the eatery, the first on the menu, the first with his main course and sweets, and then he goes down for a feed of fish and chips, and he's going to do the honourable thing and throw to old Rexy. Well, I'll tell you what, the old strip method, I used to do this as a kid over in Werribee for the whiting and snapper, but I tell you what, these are just magnificent fish. And here we go here, he's just a small bloke. He should come over here and look at the colours. Look at the colours of him, Bushy. I'll just bring him into the net. I'll just, no, I won't. I've got quite a decent, uh, quite a decent leader on that. Look oh, at that, that. look at that. Come on, and in he comes. Yes. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Leo, folks, they're a little bit like a gummy. They go very, very quickly. And Bushy will be able to get that one back in very, very soon. If he doesn't. But this, let me tell you something, folks. Laurie and Julie said, you had enough of the small ones. Uh, Bushy, are these small ones? We've had an absolute ball. 
slide him back in, Richie. Give him a kiss. Okay, there he goes. Magnificent.